Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, and today we're going to be doing some unboxing. Um, I've got three packages here today. Um, we'll be doing this one last, so we'll toss that one aside. And not this one yet. We will dive into this big one. And this is from our friends at Atari Age. Al, in fact. Doesn't say Al on it, but... Nope. Nope, nope, you gotta go. Okay, let's dive in. And packing peanuts, of course. Ooh, let's see. Let's take a look at this. I see space rocks. Oh, there we go. Ooh, excellent, yes. And this is Daryl Spice Jr.'s, I think, first game that uh, he got uh, released at Atari Age, boxed. It is kind of an upgraded Asteroids. I thought I would just, might as well get all of Daryl Spice Jr.'s games. All the other ones are amazing. So I'm not the biggest fan of Asteroids, but you know, I bet, I bet he'll make it fun. So that is one that I'm looking forward to. And... Here we go, Blinky Goes Up. Um, this is kind of a platformer game. And uh, from the videos, um, it looks like it has really nice animation. Um, yeah, platform game for the Atari 2600, featuring six vertical smooth scrolling levels and superbly animated characters. So I am a sucker for platformer games. How about you, huh? Hey Pixel, you like uh, platform games? Yes, I love platform games and shooters. Those are my most favorite genres. What else do we have in here? Packing peanuts. Oh, my goodness. Oh, these are well wrapped. Well, I have to get the knife for this one. But I think I see a porcupine poking its head out of this one. Now, this one is a long time coming. Zippy the Porcupine. And um, I think you can guess what game this is a play off of, and they changed the name. Not my favorite original game, um, because it just moves so amazingly fast, I can't tell what's happening. It would seem to be like a game that I would like. Like, I'm talking about the original one. Um, because it is a platformer, but I always found it moving way too fast. It was like Sega's answer to uh, Mario, but it was like, it moves so fast you can't tell what's going on until you get hit, and then you lose all your rings, then you have to start over again, and it slows right down. But we'll see how it is on this. So this will be a fun playthrough. And the next one is, I don't know much about it. It is Omnicron. And I just looked at the video before I bought it, and, I, and it looks like kind of a crazy, wacky, weird shooter kind of game. So, you know, I'm always up for a good shooter, and it looked like a lot of fun uh, zipping around. It's like a single-screen shooter game. Um, so that I am looking forward to, because we, frankly, we're running out of box, we're running out of games um, that weren't just ROM downloads, because um, we've been playing through them pretty fast and furious. Ooh, okay, this one I've been looking forward to, Fall Down. This is a two-player game, or you can play against the computer. Um, platformer, but you're going down platforms, but you can't go too fast down the platforms, or you'll go off the screen. And you can't go too slow down the platforms because you'll go off the, off the screen on the way up. Yeah, this one I'm really looking forward to, and we're actually gonna be playing it tomorrow. I don't know when this video is coming out, but we'll be playing it on this Friday's show. That's why I'm kind of doing the unboxing right now so we can play it. So this is Fall Down. Very looking forward to that by Aaron Curtis. What else do we have in here? I know I ordered a lot of stuff. Crazy Balloon. This is kind of a maze game, I guess, where you're floating you're on a balloon, but the balloon's going back and forth, and you have to make your way through a maze. 
um, without your balloon hitting the sides and, you know, popping. And it looked like a really fun time. Very, very challenging. Um, looks like a really fun game. Looking forward to that. Uh, Chunk Out 2600. Um, I have not actually played the ROM of this, but I watched the video and it looks like a really um, decent kind of matching game for the 2600. You know where you have all the different colors on the screen. Usually they're balls, but 2600 has a little bit more trouble with balls. So they're squares and you click on the blue and all the attached blue squares disappear and you try and reduce them down kind of like Tetris, but without falling pieces, I think but I haven't looked at too much of this. I just saw it and went, ah, that looks like a fun game. Um, got all the manuals for all these games separated out. And of course, a bunch of stickers and usually a fridge magnet. I don't see one here, but I bet it's in here because he usually includes a fridge magnet. Maybe it'll be a ah, game avalanche. Too many slippery games. Uh, let me pile those up. Uh, I think it's just packing peanuts that are left. Yes. Okay. So that's done. Time to move on to this. Now, I am really not sure what this is. I don't know if I ordered it or he's being nice to me or I don't know. What is this, Al? What did you send me? There we go. Ooh. A little crunched. Not good. A little crunched on the edge there. Okay. It is hard to get posters into these things. Let's see if I can get it out without too much damage. There we go. Ooh, this is a big poster. I don't have any room on my walls. So I may have to keep that tube. Okay. See what this is. Oh, spiceware. Oh, it's a poster that comes with space rocks. Oh, and some and some paper towels. Very nice poster. Oh, oh, I wish they sold the draconian poster that was up at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. That was nice. This is nice too. This is beautiful. Very nice poster. But I think I'll have to keep it in the tube unless magically some wall space opens up in my place. I think all my walls are filled. Uh, okay, on to the last one here. And this is not homebrew per se, but I thought, oh, I might as well unbox it. It's another video game related thing. I know what it is. This is from ZXP Cables in... New Buffalo, New York. Okay. Packing paper. Not sure what that is yet. Oh, HDMI cable. Always good to have another one to add to the pile of HDMI cables. Um, some instructions and main event here. Oh, what this is, is for the Nintendo GameCube. And what it is, is plugs into the digital output, the output of the GameCube, and outputs HDMI so that you have crystal clear um, video signal. Now, for the people in the know, this, uh, the GameCube, highest output previous to this was a component output and the only way you could get the component output was to order away for them online uh, not online order away for them because <laughs> nobody was online back then um, order away from them for uh, Nintendo so it was very very limited who had these so now they're around 250 300 dollars if you can find them this replaces that and kind of you know, bumps up the quality a little bit and makes it a lot easier to connect it to a modern television. So this is version uh, 3.0 of it. And I kind of waited a little bit till they ironed out a bunch of the bugs. So hopefully this will be really good. And everything I've seen online is really good. So it's not 
related to homebrew, but uh, you can have homebrew, you know, GameCube games, so that works well. Um, but uh, I thought I'd open it on camera as well because it's kind of cool. You want to get the best output from all your consoles as possible. Uh, and especially if you're going to be streaming like on Twitch or something, you want it to look really good, not, you know, RF. And that's why I bumped up my Atari 2600 to RGB, which was the best output you can get and hooked it up to a Framemeister um, so I can do really good streaming on Twitch for all of you to watch. Um, so this should be lots of fun to play with because there's lots of good games on the GameCube. Um, so thank you for uh, watching this unboxing and we're going to be playing all these great homebrew games over the next weeks and months. And um, so thanks for tuning in and make sure you subscribe and like and sign up and do all the things to write down right down here at Zero Page Homebrew. And uh, make sure you watch on Twitch and make sure you like that so you can uh, see when we do play these games on uh, the live Let's Plays. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>